Pastor Tracy here with BibleJourneyMinistries.com and in this video I have a Dollar Tree haul for you that has some really great craft supplies, Bible journaling supplies, and um, some things that I just like to buy at the Dollar Tree. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm going to start it off with my most awesome Bible journaling or faith uh, decks card find at the Dollar Tree. It is, it is most awesome. So let me show that to you first. So this is called a wooden holder. You guys, this looks almost exactly like the one that one of my friends made me by hand. <laughs> I mean, almost exactly. Uh, these are not actually put in there. So she made hers, she used to sell them on Etsy, and then she would have a couple things here that would hold the Faith Dex card. So you can actually add like a couple chopsticks here and that would be a Faith Dex card holder. And then of course you can stain it. So if you want to see me do a video on that, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to show you how to do it. It's super easy. Uh, we could get it done probably in 15 minutes to be that easy. Uh, then you can put your Faith Dex cards in here. And for those of you guys who don't know what Faith Dex cards are, they're just cards. Uh, that use a Rolodex system, an old Rolodex system. If you remember the Rolodex from back in the day when you used to have like phone numbers and you used to write it down, we would have these things called Rolodexes. And those that was a brand name actually. And that was how we found our phone numbers because we didn't have cellular phones back in the day. So here, my Faith X cards in this one have prayers on them. They have verses on them. They have, you know, all different things. You can even do memories on them if you want to, um, but that is just an example. And so obviously you can see, these are from our kits, our Bible journaling kits. They all come with Faith Dex cards. Most of them come with Faith Dex cards that you can just cut out and use. And so I have a few of them here just to show you for examples. And you can see that clearly they fit in here. So look how cute these are. And you can write verses on the back of them. You can do prayers or whatever. But we include a faith dex card with our kit, with most of our main kits every month. So wow, you guys! I mean, I know these were not cheap when she was making them, and now you can find almost the it's like really close to being the same thing at the Dollar Tree. So that was my favorite find. Let me know, by the way, in this haul what your favorite find is. And if you use any of the things that I buy that are not craft related, I would like to know what you think of those too. Uh, Cause I always like to know what you guys are snagging at the Dollar Tree. And it's been so long. I mean, you know, when they increase their prices, I really haven't gone back really too much. I usually get there maybe once a quarter now to the Dollar Tree where I used to go all the time. So. Not that I couldn't go, it just, you know, 25% hike in prices was just kind of like, well, that's a lot from a percentage standpoint. Uh, but this is really cute. It's a nice little box and it has two different, you know, things that you can, you can put a little tab here that shows what's in there. If you want to buy a few of them and make something out of it, I mean, you can make like a little tiered thing. Um, you could have three, you know, one for prayers, one for verses, one for, you know, whatever it is that memories if you want. So I thought that was a great deal at $1.25. All right, let's keep going. Um, let's just finish up this kind of, this one seems like to be the craft bag. Although I do have crafts in almost all the bags. Let's just kind of dump what's in here. Let's see what's in this bag. Okay. So I usually make my own cards, but I have a graduation coming up soon and I don't have time to make the card. So I picked this one up. It was $1.25. It says the tassel was worth the hassle and it comes with a little tassel. So I just thought it was super adorable and I couldn't pass that up. And then I can save myself some time. Then I bought, let's see. Oh, this one's really cute. These are just clear stamps. I find their clear stamps to be pretty, of pretty decent quality. So if they ever get them, I always look at them because I feel like, you know, $1.25 can't beat that for clear stamps. And I like these ones with the llama and the cactus on it. So I bought the clear stamps there as well. And then I bought these, I love these little gems for my Bible journaling and for just in general, my journaling or my planning. I love to use these little gems and these are bigger ones than the ones I usually have. The ones I usually get are much smaller in size. You get like 120 of them, but this one you only get 60 of them. And I just thought the colors were so pretty. So I bought a pack of those. 
And then I actually think I already have this one with the butterflies and the dragonflies, but I picked up an extra pack as well just to do a giveaway. I'll throw it in some supplies. We'll give it away. It'll be fun. So uh, I loved this one with the with the dragonflies and butterflies and all the insects and flowers. I just thought it was so pretty. I couldn't pass it up, so I got that. And then I got the rainbow gems because I just, you know, was thinking this would be really cute in a Bible journaling entry about, you know, Noah's Ark. So I was like, I definitely want to grab these gems because, I mean, they're just so pretty and I couldn't pass them up. So that's why I grabbed them. All right, so that is my easy crafting well sticker haul and then you guys i don't know anything about these i've seen them but i haven't used them yet so if you have a cricket machine or if you just want to cover things up you can do that so they had foil glitter and these are iron-on sheets so i was gonna try maybe ironing something ironing my foil on a shirt and seeing what it looked like or came out as so i'm, I'm interested to know if you've tried these the iron-on ones, so let me know in the comments if you have and what you used it on. So I was thinking a shirt or a tote bag, and I was thinking I might try to iron it on, maybe a Bible cover. I'm not really sure what these would be really good for, but I was thinking, and I don't know if they're good, but let me know, because $1.25 seem pretty fair. You get a sheet for $1.25, so 12 by 12, and it's iron-on, and it says you can put it on t-shirts, hats, and other fabrics. So I was gonna just kind of play with it and see what I could come up with. But if you guys have used this before, let me know what you think of it. And then I bought this one. This one is vinyl paper. It's 12 by 48 inches, so much bigger than these iron-on sheets. Now this vinyl paper I was gonna use to cover a Bible that I have. And I'm gonna give it a shot. So if you wanna see that video, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to do a video on how I cover a Bible with this. But this, I just thought this one was so pretty and it had so much of this design that, you know, if I messed it up, I could always get another one. <laughs> they had so much of it. <laughs> so again, only $1.25 and you get four, 12 by 48 inches. So quite a bit more, almost four times as much with the vinyl paper than you do the iron-on sheets. So I thought that was a great deal and I wanted to give it a try. And then, of course, I always pick up tape because I'm always, always, always shipping out giveaways <laughs> or reshipping my packages and sending them back to the, the to the store I bought them from if they don't fit or whatever. So I'm always needing tape, and this seems to be the best price I've ever found on ma on tape for packaging. But if you know where I can get a better price, let me know because the Dollar Tree is the only place I go for this particular packing tape, and I would love to know if there's a better place to go. Um, then, of course, you know, road trip snacks. <laughs> Not good for me, I know, but, you know, got to have deliciousness sometimes. And then I bought, oh, this I thought was an excellent deal. These are Simply Venus Razors by Gillette. You only get two in a, two in a pack. Uh, oh, no, they're two blades, but you get three in a pack. So they're two blade razors, but you get three for $1.25. So that seemed really fair to me, especially because it just, it seems like my husband has been paying 75 cents to a dollar for his razors these days. So, and they're double as well, and they're from Gillette as well. So I feel like, you know, maybe he could use these. I know they're usually for, I think these are generally for women, although they don't say they're for women. I think they're marketed to women. But they're double, so they have the two blades on them, and then you get three for $1.25. So I think it's cheaper than what my husband's been paying for his. So I'll see if he wants to try one. He may not, and if he doesn't, then I'll just take them because I always can use them. But wow, what a good deal, I thought. Now this one I don't think is a good deal, but I liked it. Um, it's called Suave Fresh Vibes Berry Bliss Deodorant. And it says formulated without aluminum, although I don't think deodorant is formulated with aluminum. I think from what I've read, antiperspirant is formulated with aluminum, but just deodorant generally isn't. So I don't know if this is just kind of a marketing message just to get me to buy it and spend more money than Walmart <laughs> for it. So let me know what you guys think, because I know that there is some you know, some uh, <clears throat> videos or some group of knowledge that says 
that you shouldn't use aluminum in underneath your arms but I don't think deodorant generally ha from what I know deodorant doesn't have aluminum it's the antiperspirant and this is deodorant so it shouldn't even have it to begin with so I'm thinking they just included this this message that says formulated without aluminum as kind of a marketing thing to get me to buy it but anyways it's actually I think it's a lot more expensive to buy this at the Dollar Tree because you only get 1.2 ounces and the normal suave that you get from Walmart is I think twice that and almost the same price so uh, unless you just like the the smell of this which I do then you know maybe pick it up from Walmart but I, I like this one so I bought it this has become my favorite shampoo so you guys let me know if you've tried this if you know anything about it it smells amazing it is it's been my favorite shampoo since I found it at the Dollar Tree like a couple months ago and I use it every time every time I use this it's my favorite now it smells so good and it's so cheap and it is it says that it's sulfate free paraben free dye free cruelty free phylate free and vegan uh, not that I'm vegan or anything but it just smells so good and it has worked really well on my hair that I just try to buy when I go to the Dollar Tree at least a couple bottles every time I go so let me know if you've tried this or if you know anything about it or you know are they gonna keep it <laughs> you know sometimes like I hate to have favorites but like then it goes away at the Dollar Tree and then I'm really sad about it so I always pick up a couple when I go every quarter right every three months I pick up a couple bottles now it is loose so if 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 you like your shampoo to be thick this is not this is like it's there's a there's enough water in here so you know you have to use quite a bit of it which is why I go through the shampoo a lot but the conditioner I don't go through a lot of so you know I do buy both the shampoo and the conditioner but I typically have to buy more shampoo because it is a little looser but it smells so good you guys it's my favorite then I found this this which is a burlap and I use burlap all the time in my junk journaling and this one has bees on it so so <laughs> so I had to get it <laughs> I just love it so I had to get it okay but I just got one all right then I bought this foldable step with a handle I thought was really nice to have and I love that it had a handle it was five dollars so my Dollar Tree and I think many Dollar Trees have a plus section and this was five dollars in the plus section and I think this is the only thing I bought from the plus section because I wanted to fold up stool and I want a gray one and they had it and it was like okay uh, it's for me I'm gonna buy it all right let's go let's keep going uh let's see oh here's some more things okay so I like this shaving cream pure silk shaving cream it's five ounces by Barbasol so I just use it occasionally a lot of times I'll just use soap because I because this isn't nearby but you know when I want to use the shaving cream this one's pretty nice so I just buy it dollar twenty five okay you guys this was so cute and I don't know like was it leftover from Christmas and they just didn't put it out or what I didn't even I didn't even check to see if it works it probably needs new batteries let's see does it need batteries uh oh I have to it needs a little tiny batteries it needs a little tiny tiny batteries Okay, I think this might have been left over from Christmas, and I think the little tea light could probably be replaced in it. But it's a nativity scene, and I was like, whoa, wouldn't this be cute to get multiple of these and have them everywhere in the front yard for, for Christmas? I just thought these were so cute. There was only one, so I think maybe it was left over from Christmas, and I'll look to see if I can't find more. But I really liked it, so I grabbed it. It was probably left over. What do you think? Do you have them in yours? <laughs> Let me know. Because they're super cute. And at $1.25, I can't make that for, for $1.25 myself. All right. So then, of course, I had to get some of these cute little baskets to store things in. I've got a couple cubby holes that are about this size. So I'm going to give them a shot and see if it'll work for some organization um, here at the at the household and then I got a couple of the bigger ones in the gray I've been trying to find the gray since most of my house um, and things these days seem to be gray even my hair is gray so I got this 
well, it's turning gray. So I got a few baskets to try. And these actually look like they're really heavy duty and they'll last a while. So, I mean, this one looks really heavy duty. So I'm for sure excited about $1.25 baskets. Uh, then we have some more crafting supplies as well. Before we do that, a couple other things in my bag that I buy that I thought were really good deals. Mustard. You guys, I'm not picky about mustard. Mustard tastes like mustard to me. Any kind I get, it tastes the same. So I just buy it from the Dollar Tree. And you get like 20 ounces for a buck 25. So I don't know. Can you get it cheaper somewhere else? I'm not really sure. But, you know, I was there and I was like, I need new mustard. I need some mustard. I just used up a whole container of it with my corn dogs. <laughs> which I love, which when I buy my kids eat and they don't ever buy it themselves or ask for it. But if I buy it for myself, then they'll eat it. This is mandarin oranges. My kids eat them all the time. This runs over $2, like $2 and 20 something cents at the Walmart and at the Dollar Tree is a buck 25. So, so much cheaper at the Dollar Tree for this particular brand. This is actually even cheaper than the great value mandarin oranges. How do I know this? Because I buy it because my kids love the mandarin oranges. So I buy them. And when I say kids, my kids aren't kids anymore. They're adult men. <laughs> They're still living in the household. So yeah, I buy the mandarin oranges. All right, more, more, more. Uh, let's see. Oh, you guys, I got a really good deal. I'll show you in just a minute. Uh, but I did buy some more of that shampoo too. I always buy two when I go. This I bought because I need, I have a place to hang this. And it, it will hold, I think, my phone and some, you know, other things, pencils and things like that. Maybe not pencils so good. I don't think pencils are very good. I mean, literally, no, not really. Not really. Maybe there. Um, but I was thinking it could hold my phone. I hope it fits. Anyways, it's a hanging organizer tray and I bought two of them. One for me, one for my husband. So we each got one of those. You know, organization is expensive. If you buy it on Amazon, I bought a magazine rack the other day and it was $11 and it was plastic and gray. So when I can go to the Dollar Tree and find something, <laughs> sometimes I'm like, wow, did I really just pay $11 for that magazine tray? You know, is there one here at the Dollar Tree that I could use? Because wow, $1.25 is a lot less than 11. All right, then I bought, I usually will buy a holy bible to give away in you know to someone local so i usually just have i usually just buy one if they have one maybe i'll buy two or three if i'm running low but i have a couple in in my house and i'll just grab another one just to have just because i love to give away bibles so okay now here is my ultimate ultimate find you guys do you remember back in the day well this i thought was just such a, an amazing deal when Prang came out, like <laughs> when I was little, <laughs> that's when Prang came out, Prang. And they have these colored pencils and you get 50 of them. They had another pack that was 36, but they had the packs of 50. So I went ahead and bought three packs of them because I thought these would make great giveaways as well. And just to have some coloring pencils on hand. So I hope that this was um, something that was helpful. I hope that this was a you know, fun kind of, you know, Dollar Tree haul. And if there's anything that you thought was really cool, will you let me know in the comments or anything that you buy from the Dollar Tree that you think I'm missing every time I go? Let me know. I would really love to know. Thank you guys so much for your encouragement and for your knowledge. I love to hear from you and gain your wisdom too. I hope you have a wonderful day and God bless you. Goodbye.